Hello viewers, SuperGT here. I am back on Forza Horizon 4. Now it's been a very long time since I last made a video on Forza Horizon 4. But I returned for a good reason. And that is the new Battle Royale mode. Which is very interesting. So of course Battle Royale games have become very popular over the last few years. And now we have a car version on uh, Forza Horizon 4. I'm going to give it a try, see how it plays see what it's all about and see how bad I am at it so you get the gist probably you start on the map I think you can get up to 72 72 players and you will start on the map you will um, try to race against each other the winner of each race gets knocked out until there's one person standing and you can upgrade your cars and you can find better cars so on the map here we have the eliminator let's go and fast travel over to that so we've got a couple of people here waiting so we're going to search for a game, jump in. So we're going to start off with a level 1 car. Everyone starts off with a level 1 uh, mini here. And hopefully we can find some good cars, beat all the noobs, win. That's the idea anyway, isn't it? You're trying to win, I guess. Okay, here we go then. So you start on the map, obviously. Uh, just the normal map, not the Lego one. Or Fortune Island. So you've got the other people on the radar so here's how it works basically uh, well we're starting this one with 50 you can't go up to 72 so every time you go up to someone you can challenge them to a 1v1 and then you both race to a destination and then the loser gets eliminated if you don't make it if neither of you make it then you both get eliminated um, so that's how players get eliminated you also get eliminated if you stay outside of the area so there is a target area so on the map you can see there's a pink dotted line and that is telling me the direction to the area at the moment i'm inside the area but it's going to shrink you can see the big purple wall with the x's on it now i was looking around everywhere i was trying to find some loot and i didn't quite know how it worked on my first game i didn't know if you just literally stumble upon a car like you do sort of on PUBG, you just find guns randomly laid about. But um, we're going to enter our first race here. So I got challenged by a level 2 driver. I'm in my mini here. I'm in a level 1 car still. So obviously this guy has a bit of an advantage. But I'm going to try to make the most of this. So he's taken the risky route through the trees. We all know that this is a tree hitting simulator. So probably best to avoid that. I'm going to play it safe and stick to the road. I, I imagine this is kind of the technique or the tactic you want to use if you're in a in a less powerful car. The fact that you need to be quite clever with how you get to the destination. So he's taking the big risk. He might be an expert at avoiding trees. I don't know. He might be at home with the forest. But I'm not. I'm most certainly not. I prefer to stick it on the black stuff and make it to the destination that way arena shrinking that's not a worry at the moment we're just trying to focus on this battle purely i don't know where he is he's got lost in the forest and well that's his game over because i've got to the destination first so we've eliminated a player good stuff we've actually done a good thing so tiggy pom has been well and truly eliminated so here you can choose to um you can choose their car or you can upgrade your car by one level. Uh, so I'm going to go for the Ford Raptor. As it's snowing. It's winter time here in Britain. And um, I think it's better to go for these big old trucks. Probably works a bit better on the snow. And of course on Forza Horizon. You're spending so much time off road. It makes sense I think to go for these. But we'll see if it actually works. Okay so we're down to 24 players at this moment here. Still haven't found any loot, unluckily for me. So we have this guy here. Press the horn to so the right stick to challenge. So let's give this guy a race, shall we? Um, so this one, just looking at the map instantly, you can take a very long route around on the road, but I think we're going to have to become acquainted with the forest. So we're going to have to go through and hopefully avoid as many trees as we possibly can. So how far is the destination? Six kilometres via the road probably a lot shorter than that if we straight line it through the trees okay so just coming through here so the guy is just ahead of me 
We're both in a level 2 car and almost get rammed head on by someone in a Ford Focus. As we enter the forest now, this is where the true skill of Horizon comes into play. This is really what it comes down to. How, how good are you at avoiding trees? Obviously he's failed there. Give him the Windows shutdown theme. If you hear that throughout the video, it's because it's my horn. And it's one of the most entertaining horns to use, I think. So jumping nicely over these. I think it was a good choice to go for the Ford Raptor. So I must say, it's a very interesting mode that they've added here. Because, obviously, we've had so many shooting games with Battle Royale modes recently. It was about time we had one in a car game. Now we are... They're 2.5 kilometers away from the destination via the road, so probably about a kilometer in a straight line. You see at the bottom of that cliff in the distance. We're just trying to avoid these cars. And it looks like we're going to win this one as we come over this hill and smack straight into a strategically placed tractor. And the guy's just like, ah, unlucky Super GT. You, you got a bit of a head yourself there, didn't you? And he comes flying past as happy as can be, and he's going to win. So I got completely done over by being a bit arrogant and then smashing into a tractor that was strategically positioned in the way. Unlucky. Oh well. 19th out of 48. How'd that make you feel? Edge of your seat? Palm sweaty? Mom spaghetti? Great! Wanna go round again? Alright Eminem. Eminem here bringing out all the rhymes. We're gonna go again. 19th out of 48. So a lot of that was kind of just minding my own business, wandering around, not really knowing where anyone was. And you can kind of get far into the game or into each match by doing that. But then, of course, you're going to be stuck in a crap car. So if, every time you beat someone, you can upgrade by a level. So it's worth at least trying that. I'm going to try and find some loot because that's probably the easier way to upgrade. Because some, some people, you see on the left of the screen there, people are in level 3 cars, 2 cars already. And I'm stuck in my level 1 car. Practicing a nice little roll over there in the Mini Cooper. So we're going to come to the road here. So you can see the dots on the map. I'm going to challenge a level 4 guy here. He's in the Lancer GSR. Should be a fairly decent car. Should be better than a Mini Cooper anyway. So I, I do have a bit of a head start here. I'm going to get ahead. And try to get the destination 7 kilometers away. There is a, there's some loot there, Lancer GSR. I don't know if it's worth stopping for that. I guess not because then I'd lose the race. So I'd claim the car but then I'd lose this race. But it does take quite a, time, a long time to load on this game sometimes. And it's just focus on beating this Lancer guy. And you can see that the advantage of having a level 4 car isn't massive, although that is probably because he's just driving through the snow. Driving on the road does help. Yeah, so I am ahead at this point. So we're going to drive towards... It looks like we're coming up to the lake in a moment. So we're going to jump over a couple of little hills here. This is the danger in the Mini Cooper. Because it's basically a little box and it can roll over so easily. And unfortunately when you roll over it takes about an eternity pretty much give or take a few years it takes an eternity to roll over or go to reset so we can just laugh at this guy who's stuck on a rock and as i come over here i almost roll over and get reset again thankfully this time and landing on my wheels we continue and this is a bit of a weird one we had to cross over the threshold you see here it all goes black and black and white and very dark and grim so we are in the death process. We are dying of death at right now. And my fellow racer is dying of death. So it's a bit of a weird one that the destination was outside of the the shroud, or whatever you want to call it. So we we win. We beat this guy. So it does show you that even if someone has an advantage in the car, you can beat them. Thankfully, some rock came to my rescue. Okay, so we can take his car or upgrade by one level. We might as well take his car because he had a level four. And now it's a case of just trying to get back inside the arena. You see the edge of the wall. You see the wall. The edge of the uh, uh, playing area. And quite annoyingly, I was too far away to get back. So I won this battle, but it all counted for nothing. So we, we got eliminated. We died of death 100%. And uh, just a little bit of trivia. Um, death is actually the most common cause of dying. Uh, not many people know that. Right, so we go again. Can we finally do something good? Get a good car. Although we did get a good car there, but then, well, wasn't um, 
wasn't to be. We got um, too far outside of the area, so we couldn't really make the most of it. Okay, Ford Raptor, let's get upgrade to a level two. No, denied at the last minute. This guy just comes out of nowhere and uh, steals it away from me at the last moment. Um, so I was like, should I challenge him? Should I run away? Should I? I don't know what to do. I'm going to try to run away and be very, very cautious. But he um, he was not having any of it. He was like, no, get get back here, mate. I am going to challenge you. So, okay. We have a race on. I'm going to try to beat him. Not get eliminated. And just see, again, if the mini is actually decent. And can it beat faster cars well we just proved that it can but can it beat a Ford Raptor which is probably very well acquainted with the snow and the off-road conditions so this race will probably prove to you that there isn't much of a difference between these cars there should be I mean given these conditions that car should be driving away from me very easily annoyingly there's another level 4 car there on my left I can't really get it otherwise we'll lose the race um, so we have to continue, do a massive jump, and the destination two kilometres away. So do let me know your thoughts about the battle royale mode. I do. I did find that I was kind of wandering around for a long time. I, I have cut out quite a lot of the footage here because I was wandering around for a long time trying to find better cars. And as soon as I got into a race, the good cars would appear, and I couldn't really get them. Um, but I found I was just wandering around aimlessly because on PUBG for example you get guns everywhere there's always something somewhere pretty much in any house there's there's always some items but on this it's very difficult to even find anything so I think the main way to upgrade your car is really just to beat other people unfortunately on this occasion we're not going to win I couldn't quite match this guy I nearly did but not enough okay so 39th not good enough we're gonna have to go again and try our hand at trying to find some loot. I was like, is there a better way to find loot? Is it hidden inside that container? No, not quite. Now, this one wasn't going to go very well because I got challenged by a level 7, someone in a Bentley uh, Continental. Car, so we've got a whole difference of six levels. Let's see how much of a difference this makes. As we skip away over the, over the frozen tundra here in Britain. In fact, AR-12 Nick is in this game. He just got eliminated. So we've made it further than... Mr. AR12 Nick, in this one at least. Um, but then this this one didn't go very far because I kind of got morphed inside the top of this tunnel and my career was over. Cheers, Bill. Cheers for that. And I think LOL was about the best way to describe this exact situation here. Um, I know you can reset, but I was just kind of fully in the moment of LOL. And uh, we, we escaped in the McLaren eventually, but... We come back for one last game, okay? We're going to try to actually do something good rather than being a useless idiot. Okay, so I had some urges. I had my, my senses were getting tickled here. So I turned around and I spotted a tree. Yeah, it, went, it went into the tree. But then I also spotted some flares in the distance with this drone. So we are going to take a level 6 Alpha Stelvio. Okay, we've got lucky for once. We're going to get a nice big upgrade here. Level 6 car. I don't know what the max level is. I think it's 9. I think 6 is a decent level. As we drive straight into the back of this camera rig thing. That's a great start, isn't it? Brilliant. Brilliant driving there, mate. So, we're going to try to make the most of this. Let's just drive back in towards the circle following the pink dotted line on the map and then we can start challenging some noobs and ending their career okay so driving back we can see the speed of this car is a little bit better so the mini was sort of reaching about 80 90 this that was going 100 uphill just then so a little bit better it's not a million miles better but it's 999,999 miles better so there is a difference for sure definitely feel that this car rides the bumps better and just has more power which is kind of what you want really now on the map you can see the purple dots with the, the crosses through them so I couldn't challenge those guys I wanted to challenge that mini but I couldn't so I'm going to have to wait a little bit here find some other prey 
There's, uh, there's still 49 people left in this one, so not many people getting eliminated at this point. I have to be quite patient. I'm going to leave you with the sort of the, uh, longer footage of this game, so you can kind of get a better idea of how long the games go for. So this mini, I could challenge. I don't know what the difference was between this one and the other one, but we can challenge this guy. And we are going to try to pull away as quickly as we can. 3.4 kilometers away is the destination, not too far away actually. As we uh, come through the side of the quarry here, I don't think there's really many shortcuts uh, to be taken for this one. And I suppose you, your map knowledge does really count on this. You, you do need to know the map. You need to know shortcuts, um, where to where to cut through, when to stay on the road, and when to not stay on the road. When to go through the forest. Um, there are shortcuts available, of course, and that is very much how this one will work. As we are definitely ahead, 43 players remaining. So a little shortcut here, but that kind of is indicated on the map, so you can follow that one quite easily. And this one looks like a fairly easy victory. As long as I don't do anything really stupid, which, to be fair, I probably will, because it's me, and I just have a history of that. But, um, so basically, just don't hit that house or something stupid. Because I, I suppose with a race so short, let's say this race is only about a minute and a half or two minutes, if you make a mistake and smack into a house, and that might cost you 10 seconds, and that is quite a big percentage of the race. So you, you want to kind of play it safe to some extent. Now eventually we do get through to the destination and we've won. So we're going to get upgraded here. So we've eliminated someone. Uh, JBZZ. This scary looking car comes past. We can upgrade to a Porsche 959. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm in a good position here in a very good car, level 7. And uh, the, the amount of players is coming down, 38 now. So we can uh, try to find some more prey here. And that's going to happen right here because I found someone who upgraded their car from a 2 to a 5. So, okay, this might be a bit closer than I would have liked. As you know, he's in level 2 there. So, okay, a level 7 versus a level 2. Let's see how this one goes. Should, on paper, win this. Let's see. We've got some weird, mad people in there. I don't know what the hell that was all about. The absolute... Oh no, that's just another player trying to interfere. So I've got to watch out for that. I tried to ram him, but it really didn't have the effect that I desired. Although that bit there helped. He kind of went through the wall. That slows you right down. We all know that. Okay, trying to pull away here. And an absolute madman. Another madman. I, I just didn't know which way he was going. And we both turned into each other. We both sort of second-guessed each other. And um, we're both playing chicken. And this guy... <laughs> <laughs> comes back for a second invitation so you have to watch out for the other players in the game because they can really um, interfere and unfortunately on this occasion that's exactly what has happened and the level 2 has got a decent margin and I need to pull this back quick the reach 136 140 miles an hour near enough which is definitely a lot quicker than mini but he's not in the mini he's in level 2 car the Galant I'm going to try to catch up here. I'm going to have to take some risks and take a shortcut and jump over this hill. Hopefully he crashes into that house or a tree. I nearly crashed into that tree. But on this occasion, I'm going to look like an absolute idiot because I've lost. Yes, that's it, right? I've um, just proven that pretty much my career is over. And there's confirmation from Rosberg that it is over. But there we go. There's um, there's a quick look at the Battle Royale mode in Horizon 4. There's me playing it really badly. I would like to have more, more attempts at it. Maybe I could uh, learn a thing or two. But there we go. A quick go at the Battle Royale mode. Let me know your thoughts as always. And if you did enjoy the video, leave a like and maybe subscribe for more. It's been good to get back on Forza Horizon 4. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Have a nice day. I shall see you next time. Goodbye.